hello friends today we'll give you a very quick understanding about growth primary production and net primary production in especially aquatic ecosystem and uh, measurement of these two terms so in this uh, measurements n number of bottles series of bottles are taken and half of them is wrapped by aluminum foil and half of them is directly contact with the sunlight whereas rest of them is not contact with an sunlight so light bottle as well as dark bottle they are fragmented into light one and dark one and initially they are filled with pond water so now this pond water contains microorganisms like cyanobacteria cyanophyce algae phytoplanktons and zooplanktons so after that incubation period is uh, taken let us assume that for an example one hour they are uh, incubated and then after due to the presence of this microorganisms in the pond water photosynthesis as well as photorespiration occur in the light bottle due to the presence of sunlight whereas in dark bottle sunlight is absent so no photosynthesis occur but only photorespiration occurs because uh, cyanobacteria sometimes sometimes zooplanktons and phytoplanktons are present and in that uh, cell respiration occur I mean how to count GPP and NPP terms so let us assume that in at initial period of time when bottle is fully pure with pond water oxygen concentration is 12 microgram per liter so after incubation time here we we take as incubation period 1 hour oxygen concentration is in the light bottle is slightly higher because uh, due to the presence of uh, photosynthesis as well as respiration this balance balances oxygen concentration but oxygen concentration slightly increases than the initial period of time so let us assume that it is 14 microgram oxygen per liter now oxygen concentration in the dark bottle so in the dark bot bottle no photosynthesis occur but only photorespiration occur so whatever the oxygen concentration that is due to uh, photorespiration so it is lesser than initial period so for an example let us assume that it is 8 microgram per liter so here what is gross primary production gross primary production occurs due to the production due to photosynthesis and production due to photosynthesis minus respiration leads to net primary production so we have an equation net primary production is equal to gross primary production minus respiration so if we want to count net primary production that is gross primary production minus respiration so i told you earlier gross primary production that is due to photosynthesis and respiration so photosynthesis and respiration both of the process occur in the light period and only respiration occur in the dark bottle so if we measure oxygen concentration in light bottle minus oxygen concentration in at initial period we get npp measurements that is 14 minus 12 is equal to 2 mg per liter so in the respiration respiration process occurs both at initial period of time as well as in the dark period so at initial period there is slightly higher oxygen concentration than the dark period so we want to count if respiration rate then it is initial oxygen concentration minus oxygen concentration in dark so that is 12 minus 8 is equal to 4 mg per liter that is respiration ratio now if you want to count gpp that is gross primary production that is equal to net primary production plus respiration so net primary production that is again oxygen concentration i told you earlier in light that is due to gross primary production that is due to photosynthesis plus respiration and plus only respiration only respiration occurs in the dark bottle so o2 concentration in light bottle minus o2 concentration in dark bottle that is 14 minus 8 is equal to 6 mg mg per liter so such kind of measurements of 
GPP and PP and respiration ratios are very much useful in when we try to solve problem related to measurements of GPP count and PP count in aquatic pond as well as ocean ecosystem. Thank you. Have a nice day.